Hey guys and welcome to another video. This time I want to show you how to map a network drive. Let's say you have a NAS on your network or you just want to connect to another folder from another computer to download some files. Here is what you need to do. So first step you need to open Windows Explorer and as a first thing you need to double check whether the network discovery is turned on. To do this just simply go to and click on the network. You will see I turned it off for now just for you to, to see the error. You just need to click OK and then you will see at the top part that you will have this uh, warning message. Just click on it and then click on turn on network discovery and file sharing. This will allow us to see what's available on our network. So now let's move on to mapping the network folder. First of all you need to right click on this PC and then you find the option map network drive. Click on it and then you first of all need to provide a letter. As you can see, I already have a network uh, a folder which is already mapped under the letter Z. I will choose letter Y. Then you need to, to provide a folder name. You can either directly write here backslash backslash and then the IP of your, uh, of your machine or you can click on browse. Browsing will show all of the peripherals which are on the network. If you can't find it here, then I would suggest you finding the IP of that machine and then writing it as I showed you before. So let's say you, you can find it here, then you just select, need to select a folder. I, I created a test location here for this purpose, so yeah, just click on it, then say OK. It automatically fills it in here. It's, uh, you have two options. First of all, you need to check this if you want to reconnect every time you power on your PC. And then if you need to use different credential, so let's say for example you're connecting to a different PC which has a user and a password, you might need to provide that, therefore you, you, need, to, you need to click it here. Okay, I don't need to do this, then I just uh, need to click on finish. And what happens is that the new location is already mapped, it appears here in my, in my drive list with the letter Y. Of course it's empty, it's ready for me to uh, fill it with uh, whatever I need. Okay, before ending this, uh, this video, I want to show you some troubleshooting when you have this kind of errors. Let's say you, you encounter errors when, you, you, when you're trying to map your, your network drive. It usually happens when you are trying to map the same network location with different users and different passwords. So what you need to do is the following. First of all, press the Windows button plus the R button and then write CMD to open a command prompt. Now I want to show you some commands that you need to use in order to see what kind of um, locations you have mapped. So it's net space use and then just press enter. And here you will see the list of all of the locations which might have or might not have a, a drive letter attached to it. So in case you can't map your, your, your network location, you might have to look at it, look it up here and you might have to delete it from here. So let's say I can't connect to, to this test location because of whatever errors it, it gives me because it's already present here. I would need to do net use slash delete and then put the name of it. Of course, it tells me that there are some uh, open files on it and this is visible because I already have it opened uh, behind. I can say yes, just delete and disconnect from it and it was disconnected successfully. As you can see behind, it's also Windows Ex Explorer already recognized this and, uh, and deleted it. It's still visible here and you can still click on it, but it will tell you it's no longer it's no longer available. Even for those you don't have a drive letter assigned to it, you can also delete net use slash delete, and then you just uh, write the name as it's written uh, on the remote part, like QNAP backslash web. Oops. And this was deleted successfully. Now, if you check it, there is only one connection which remains there. Once you cleared all of this bogus uh, uh, mapped network connection, your, your connection should be available for you to, to map it.
This is it. I hope this was uh, helpful for you. And if it was, don't forget to drop a like and a comment below and I'll get back to you. Have fun.